Hi, if you want to do master's or PhD from Saudi Arabia with a lot of benefits including free tuition, monthly stipend, free furnished air condition housing, essential medical care, free textbooks, airfare ticket, subsidized meals in the university cafeteria and the projects funded by the university then this video is for you hello welcome back i hope you are doing well and safe in this video we are going to talk about king fahad university of petroleum and mineral saudi arabia scholarships for masters and phd so let's get started this video will cover departments, eligibility criteria, benefits, mandatory documents, non-mandatory documents, deadline and in the end procedure to apply. So the departments in which you can apply are these departments. In different departments you can do masters as well as PhD. However, for some programs you can only do masters. You can also go for the MBA. So this is the list and choose the department in which you are interested. Other departments are these one. You can also apply in different programs related to the life sciences, material science and engineering, etc. So choose a program in which you are interested. Now if we talk about the eligibility criteria. For master program in science and engineering, you must have four year bachelor degree in engineering or science from a recognized institution with a major in the proposed field or evidence of suitable background for entering the proposed field. You must have a GPA of three or higher on a scale of four or equivalent and a GPA of three in the subject of the major field. For PhD program, you need master degree in engineering or science after a four year BS degree from an institution whose graduate programs are equivalent to those of KFUPM with a major in the proposed field or evidence of suitable background for entering the proposed field. Minimum GP of three on a scale of four are equivalent in both the BS and MS degrees. If you want to apply for MBA then you must have a four year bachelor degree from a recognized institution. GP of 3 or higher on a scale of 4 or equivalent. At least one course in college level calculus which covers both differentiation and integration. A working knowledge of computers as evidenced by at least one course in that area. And at least one year of full time work experience. This requirement may be waived for graded assistants, research assistants, and applicants with exceptional academic records. Now if we talk about the benefits, you will get a free tuition, a monthly stipend, free furnished air condition housing, essential medical care, free textbooks, airfare ticket, subsidized meals in the university cafeteria and projects funded by the university. Now if we talk about the documents which are the mandatory to apply for this scholarship are your passport, complete official transcripts, your recommendation letter from your academic referees and uh, they must be submitted online. A uh, statement of purpose which is a one page essay focusing on your career and research goals at CAF UPM. Passport size photo with wired background. It is optional for females. And the CV mentioning briefly your education and work experience. If we talk about the non-mandatory documents, they include TOEFL or IELTS. GRE score, GMAT score, and degree certificates. Non-mandatory documents, it doesn't mean that you don't need for admission. You have to submit those documents for getting the final decision on your application. However, mandatory documents are those which you have to submit with your application, but non-mandatory documents are those which you can submit later on after submitting your application. Now the deadline, so the deadline for the spring semester 2022 is a September 2021 and for the fall semester August 2022 is February 16, 2022. 
And the last step for submitting your online recommendations for spring semester is September 25, 2021 and for fall semester is February 23, 2022. Now how you can apply for this scholarship? You have to open this link. I had put this link in the description of the video. Once you open this link, you will find this web page. Now here, first of all, you have to check your eligibility. For example, you are male, your nationality is Pakistan or India, your level of interest is, for example, master's program, and intended mode of studies, you want to go for a scholarship, so select a scholarship, and then you have to select it. Do you have a valid Saudi residence permit? I don't have so click no and then it will show you the options now it is showing you the programs and the application link for example if you are interested in master of science chemical engineering then you have to open this link whatever the program you are interested you have to open that link and you will find this web page here you have to create the account once you create the account you will get an email and you have to verify your email address once you verify it you can use that username and password to sign in once you sign in, you have to fill online application form, upload the documents, and you have to fill the detail of your reprise. Once you fill the detail of your reprise, your reprise will get an email and they have to submit the recommendation later on your behalf. So that's it. If you have any question, kindly let me know in the comment box below. If you are eligible, must apply. See you next video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.